plaintiff, Christina Druni, met the defendant when she enrolled him at the college where she was working. And they became friends because she liked his sassy and diva-like attitude. Christine claims a lot of the defendant's family turned their backs on him because of his lifestyle. But she didn't. And she's suing him today for a loan. Defendant John Ruby admits that he's a diva and says he always has been and always will be. John claims Christine is immature and constantly needs attention. And he's countersuing because she sent him harassing text messages and defamed him on Facebook. Start with you. I was working at a college and several years back, I enrolled John as one of my students. And through the time that he was there, we became friends. Um, we spent time together, went to lunch together. After he graduated, he started working there. We continued our lunches. I went to his graduation. He went to my birthday. We were fairly good friends. We spent a lot of time together. I told him everything. He told me everything. Um, John does have a sassy side to him. He can be a diva. He's flamboyant and it was part of his charm. It was one of the things I liked about him. It made him fun to be around. Um, because of his lifestyle, some of his family members weren't all that. What's his lifestyle? He's gay. Okay. So some of his family is ignorant. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying not all of them are accepting of that. The ones who don't are ignorant. That's what I'm calling them. And that is your right to do. Hope they're watching. You're ignorant if you don't accept your relative's lifestyle because he's gay. Go ahead. They weren't always accepting, so that put him in a predicament as far as not having access to a vehicle in June. So in June, he came to me saying that he wasn't going to have access to a vehicle anymore. And at that point, we decided to go looking at cars to see if I could help him find a car that he could afford. Okay. All right, and I guess you're about to get to the loan. Let me um, allow him to give some background. And by the way, I call folks ignorant because that's pretty much discriminatory. It is. Discriminating against someone because of their sexual orientation, just like discriminating for any reason is ignorant, period. Discriminating against black folks, discriminating against Latinos, gays, women, whoever it is. Doyle. <laughs> <All right. laughs> if you hold it against him because he's my bailiff and you know that I'm a nut, then hey, <laughs> go ahead. Let's hear from you. Um, I absolutely do agree with Christine. Yes, I am a diva many times and I'm not going to change for anybody. This I've been like this my whole life and I ain't changing for anybody. Um, unfortunately, Christina is very immature and very needy. She always needs attention and I'm just, it's just a wrap with her. Um, for instance, she started checking in on um, Facebook. Um, I have evidence right here, checking into court, letting everybody know she was taking me to court, getting legal. Um, we had mutual friends at work. Um, they were commenting on it, asking her if she, um, that they knew who I was. She was stating yes. She was telling people I was stealing money from her, which is absolutely false. Where did all false. this come from? I thought you all were good friends for years. We were at one point. We used to work together. And so what then, caused the breakup in the friendship? Well, when she got fired, everybody was done with her because they know the way she is. But I how is she her. that everyone was done with <laughs> She's her? She's just a drama queen. And she needs that attention. you came to for $1,500. Give, and, and give me always, an example. She always needs attention. She's give me an needy. example other than this. For example, you know, her checking into Facebook, you know, letting everybody know other when this was a this. personal issue. Other than this issue. What has she done? We might be here all night if I tell you all that. <laughs> we might be here all night. All right. We don't have all night. Just like discriminating for any reason is ignorant, period. Discriminating against black folks, discriminating against Latinos, gays, women, whoever it is. Doyle. <laughs> Plaintiff Christina Druni is suing her former friend who claims after he borrowed money from her, Christine started sending him harassing text messages. Ma'am, how does he owe you 1500 for a loan? Um, in the middle of June, he asked if I could help him with a car. We went shopping. I we didn't find a car that he could afford on his own he found a car and he at that point asked me if i would lend him fifteen hundred dollars for a down payment so on june 29th and i have the receipt right here we went to riverside nissan and i put fifteen hundred dollars down on my credit card for a car in his name all right and when was he to repay you Originally, he was going to start. He was supposed to start paying me back on July 6th. He was going to get money from his grandmother. He said he was going to give me that $500. And then after that, every other week, he was going to give me $400 until the loan was paid for. And he hasn't paid anything? No, sir. I okay. started texting him 
I didn't say anything on July 6th that came and went. And about two weeks later, I texted him and asked him if I was going to get my money. And at that point, he said the car hadn't been fully financed yet. So he didn't know he was going to get to keep it. So I said, OK, just keep me updated. Then July 25th, I text him again. And he said that he didn't he became a diva. He started getting snippy with me and rude and just saying what? Well, I sent him a text saying, I haven't heard from you. And I was just wondering, you know, am I, I haven't been able to reach you. Mm -hmm. And he's like, don't go there with me. I'm not in the mood. You can be sassy. I can be sassy too. I don't do it as well You're not as him. in the mood to be it asked about your so loan. <laughs> don't go there. I am not in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me what happened, sir. <laughs> okay, Christine did actually let me borrow the money, but she actually offered it. You know, we were texting one evening and I was telling her what happened with my family member and stuff. And Christine has always been there for me. Mm -hmm. So I did go to her and um, she actually offered to help me. She said, let me know if I can, you know, help you with anything. You know, we had lunch one evening. We talked about it. We went car shopping, couldn't find anything. So when I did find a car, I did, um, you know, ask her to help me. But I never had any intentions of not paying Christine back at all. We were supposed to have lunch one Thursday and she canceled to go to Arizona with her friends. I um, mean, I did have money to pay her back that day. I didn't have $400, but I had 150. So you didn't pay her back because she went with her friend. No, no not at all. <laughs> we just never saw each other since then. We were supposed to have lunch. Oh, and she I, gonna go to Arizona with her friends? Well, fine, let them give her her money. <laughs> I can hear you now. <laughs> you know, what? We were supposed to have lunch on that Thursday and we just, um, she canceled. So I just never saw her since then. And then going there, she started like, harassing me with text messages, putting stuff on Facebook. And I just didn't agree with it. This was a very uh, personal issue that I had with my family that I was already going through a lot. And I didn't I never said anything about your that. family on Facebook. I never used That's your name That's your common claim for harassment is she said things on Facebook? No, she started, Facebook. Like, she started like checking into the courthouse, getting legal and stuff. And that, that just was not necessary because my coworkers that work with me. If you haven't paid her and you won't pay her, <laughs> then it is necessary. She's just always crying on Facebook, so. Well, whatever. somebody owes her $1,500, she dollars, might want cry. to. I never had intentions not to pay her back. And I could honestly yes, say you I did. never you did. You got mad because she stood you up for lunch. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't mad that you yeah, did. That is why you really want to pay the one. Oh, so she ain't going to show up? All right, I'll show her. <laughs> Your Honor, she I actually. She's going to get a dime out of me. I actually Isn't that waited. what you said? Secretly, I was thinking that. Joey, <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see your uh, Facebook for your counterclaim. Never Secret once on there is his name there. She didn't mention your name on here? She did not mention my name, but it was clearly towards me. Yeah, but you're suggesting that she caused you embarrassment by putting these statements on Facebook when she never mentioned your name. So how would folks know it was you unless you don't pay nobody? <laughs> Well, no, well, knowing the way Christine is, Oh, that must be everybody. John. <laughs> if she's talking about she didn't get her money, <laughs> she oh. must be talking about John because it's known across the city. She's probably, she's, she's probably checked in here at the Judge Mathis show. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, no. I'll leave that to you. All right. So. And Your uh, Honor, he actually blocked me from Facebook, so I don't know how he got screenshots of my Facebook. Yeah. But I waited. I, I waited almost two months before I even right. filed the lawsuit. So oh, I waited. Right. I gave him time. I gave him opportunities to pay That's me back. Right. And I actually have text messages. Well, next time showing... you'll make that lunch. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> you know, you won't up no more. <laughs> Tell next time I will lend you the money. Time. Don't stand somebody up. <laughs> 1500 is your judgment, ma'am. He admits to owing you. And sir, uh, she didn't mention your name, so she didn't uh, cause you any embarrassment. Have a good day, judgment, for the plaintiff yours is this one. him and he thinks I cry so the friendship is completely over I'm just done with negative ugly people so I'm just gonna move on with my beautiful life and just go from there